are you looking forward to at the end of the residential program? Uh, I'm looking forward to the party. You got a party, Cameron? She was a party. Yeah. She was a party. <laughs> what are you looking forward to at the end of graduation? The party. Oh, that's what she said. Oh, that's what you said. <laughs> So it's come to this day, the end of residency. There's no doubt that there were some rough days and sleepless nights during the past 1,095 days. But there were also many days when I'm sure many of us came home with a smile, knowing we did something significant for someone else. As for our class, Fresh Start, as Dr. David Smith likes to call us, we have kept each other company, providing companionship during those long call days and we team up to tackle our day's tasks together. When there come times when life unexpectedly hits us in our most vulnerable spots, we step up and give each other a helping hand, making sacrifices so we can spend those necessary moments with family or heal when we are not well. Some days we go to work before sunrise and come back after sunset and don't see the light of day. And some nights we don't come home at all. Some weeks we have no free weekends and some days we may bring work home with us. The little free time we have left over seems so precious, yet we still choose to spend it with each other. Outside of the hospital walls, we have included each other in our personal life celebrations, sharing our weddings, baptisms, baby showers, births of our children, and birthdays with one another. Even for an evening frisbee game, a workout session, a casual potluck, a kid's play date, or a summer dip in the pool, we ask each other first before anyone else. And it's not a surprise why. We are an extremely diverse group of individuals with different cultural backgrounds, colors, ages, creeds, talents, and experiences. And yet, we came together here with the same vision, to become the best family physicians we can be. With demanding work hours, steep learning curve, seemingly endless knowledge to gain, and gruelingly long board exams to pass, residency has not been easy, no doubt about it. Yet, we all accept the challenge because we don't expect any less from ourselves or from each other. And we make sure we get through together. And we did. That's pretty amazing. We are so thankful for our colleagues, our attendings, and staff, with whom it has been a true privilege to work with. There's so many amazing brains to pick in this program, along with who knows how many collective years of experience guiding us to where we are today. We couldn't get here today without you all. We have learned so much. Looking back at the past three years, here are some lessons we have learned that we'd like to share. First, take pride in what you do. There's a certain pride that comes with hard work, knowing that you are unleashing your full potential and pushing your limits to beyond what you thought you are capable of. What motivates us to keep going isn't the money or status, but the personal sense of self-worth to do the job right for our patients and for ourselves, and to do it well. Going along the lines of teamwork, it's not only important to receive criticism, but also to give the feedback to your fellow residents. There's an old saying, you're as strong as your weakest link. It's especially important on the service for everyone to share the wealth of knowledge and learn and come together as a team. Be kind to everyone you work with, patients, patients' families, nurses, residents, attendings, and students. Listen to and acknowledge your patients and their families, even if you disagree with them. Medical treatment is a team effort. Something this program has taught me, which was unexpected, was treating patients. Not treating patients in a typical way that everyone else does, but instead, I slowly learned that each and every patient is unique in their own way and the physician should be treating them in that unique way. No two patients are ever the same. Know 
your strength and weakness. If you don't know something, don't be afraid to ask for help. We're only a phone call away. Get to know your staff, colleagues, and nurses. They're here to help you. Lastly, be humble and enjoy residency. We're all lucky to be here. Be your own person. Form your own opinions about your fellow residents and attendings. Don't let others' experiences and prejudices become your own and affect uh, your feelings and your relationships with each other. Be a hard worker and a team player, but be humble. You can be one of the best residents in the program, but if you took your own horn and belittle others' contributions, the impression and the legacy you leave will not be a positive one. Be honest, trustworthy, and supportive of one another. Make the most of your time in residency and get as much experience as possible. Ask questions, learn from your mistakes, and always strive to be a better physician. In the next three years, you will learn more medicine from your patients than in the last four years of medical school. You will bear witness to and may even experience deep sorrow, unimaginable pain, and loss. In return, you will persevere, thrive for positivity, and most importantly, learn to live a life full of gratitude. Don't be afraid to stand out and let your personality show. Don't be vanilla ice cream without the sprinkles. If you give your very best every day, you will achieve something great. Providing care for people in their time of need is what some would call a hero. But doing it with compassion is how you become a superhero. After all, we should leave the world in a better place than how we got it. And last but not least, value your time and enjoy life while you can. Wishing everyone the best as we move on. Think about it. <laughs> One more.